26 June 2003 to 26 June 2019, 16 years that the tall, powerfully made fielder Marc Vivien Foué died in Lyon, France, in the Cameroon, Colombia match of the semi-finals of the 2003 Confederations Cup. Medical reports say he died of a heart attack. The tragic scene of his collapse and later transported out of the pitch in front of TV cameras has remained engraved in the memories of countless football fans who were watching across the world. Memories of Cameroonian as well as French players at the finals with the effigy of Fouet in tears cannot be forgotten. His funeral in Cameroon was a crowd-pulling event and the government accorded him a state funeral at his native Nkolo village. Before his demise, he had begun the construction of a sports complex at the outskirts of Yawunde, where he was buried. Authorities during the funeral promised to see to the completion of the project, but 16 years gone already could well be time enough to match word to action. For one, may be tempted and erroneously so to conclude that Fue's dream of giving young Cameroonians the opportunity to play football may have died with him. 16 years gone by and the Lions of Cameroon should offer their 2 0 victory over Guinea-Bissau in the ongoing AFCON 2019 as homage to the Lions midfielder. An award in honor to the late Mark Vivien Fue awarded to the best player who represents an African national football team in League One came to Carl Toko Ekambi in 2018 with 265 points, as if to say Fue lives on in Cameroonians. Lions do not die, they say. Cameroon and football lovers have a duty to pay homage to this fallen hero like a soldier in defense of the green, red, and yellow.